There's a question asked. I have a very bad habit of running behind the opposite sex. Can you help me to get rid of this? Have you seen somebody running behind the opposite sex? <laughs> have you seen somebody or many? Yes. We often see people irrespective of their age or their gender sometimes running behind the opposite sex. Okay. So today we will try to see why this happens and what to do regarding this because this is a disease actually it's the symptom of another disease yes so this person has written to me that he or she tries to stop that again and again and again but that person keeps falling prey to this bad habit so why does that happen have you ever thought regarding this all right so today we will try to answer these queries and yes if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe press the thumbs up at the end and if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life then you could go to my website down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you <laughs> He will help you by stopping you, by not letting you run behind the opposite sex. Okay. And yes, before I start, this video is going to be a bit heavy. <laughs> so if you uh, do not like some of the things which I say regarding uh, sexuality or regarding materialistic enjoyment, then it might pinch you. Okay. So, if you have watched uh, some of my videos, like I have made a video on solutions to planets in the 8th house, it's there with around 32,000 views and uh, people have liked that video, but there are many strong things which I have said there and there are many strong things which I will say here also. So, if you only like to hear sweet things and you run behind the opposite sex, but you have no intention of giving it up and you do not have any spiritual goals or any conception of higher reality your conception is just like uh, take birth enjoy and then die if that is your conception of life then you are at the wrong place it's gonna pinch you seriously okay so walk out from this video if you are in that category but yes if you have this bad habit and you intend to or you desire to give it up one day <laughs> then you are at the right place okay so now what happens why do people run behind the opposite sex because not that they get they think they will get a higher level of pleasure that's the reason but the question is why do they want that high level of pleasure yes see uh, at a higher level we can answer this question because the Vedic scriptures say Ananda Mayo Bhyasa. The Vedanta Sutra says Ananda Mayo Bhyasa. The soul is eternally, not today, not tomorrow, not yesterday. <laughs> the soul is eternally looking for happiness, pleasure. And what happens in this material world is that happiness which the soul finds only in union with God. That happiness he does not find in this material world anywhere because you cannot replace God. So then what happens? He tries to find this happiness in different things. In laptop, in mobile, Facebook, Instagram, in boy, in girl. Yes. By getting money, by purchasing different luxury cars, by taking big homes. That is how the soul tries and among them, among all the pleasures, the pleasure which a person gets when he or she is with the opposite sex, that, that degree is very high. So because of that, the soul gets into illusion that he is enjoying pleasure, but actually it is not pleasure. It is 
is just a false reality that we think that we are enjoying with somebody's uh, body or with you know somebody's presence <laughs> but even at a material level this is a disease why because see there are two prime causes for this the first cause is at a spiritual level somebody is starving very badly starving means that person is like oh my god i feel so empty <laughs> so to fill the void inside that person is running behind the opposite sex going on messaging girls or boys whichever they want to and they think that when that party reciprocates they will have some great happiness in life so please write it in the comments if you also thought that by being with somebody some day you will have all happiness in life <laughs> and uh, at the end uh, change the topic <laughs> did this happen to you sometimes or did you see this happening with somebody the only goal of their life is how can i get this person this girlfriend this boyfriend and then one on while you are pursuing that person as in hindi they say na piche lage hue ho while you are running that race you forget who you are this story is there in the shrimad bhagavatam of pururava pururava wanted to enjoy urvashi urvashi is one of the, she is perhaps the most uh, charming uh, apsala in the heavenly realms so he wanted to enjoy with her then he did lots and lots of penance and lord vishnu appeared in front of him and then he asks lord vishnu please give me urvashi <laughs> i mean you you could have asked so many other things right you could have asked liberation moksha you could have asked for love of god nothing just give me urvashi i don't need anything else this story comes repeatedly in the shrimad bhagavatam and after enjoying with urvashi for many 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 lives i mean within that life i mean for many years <laughs> hundreds and thousands of years he realizes oh my god what am i doing <laughs> i have wasted so many of my valuable years pururava realizes this at the end and then he goes for uh, obtaining spiritual perfection so at the spiritual level the soul is starving the soul is crying in and out the soul is hungry for love for happiness but the soul is not finding it in this material world and at a material level secondly as i said two reasons that that's the first and the second reason is even at a material level either you are a atheist or you are religious you are spiritual you are, you are agnostic irrespective of that you do not have any reason why you get up in the morning have you seen people just existing and not living which means they are doing things which they absolutely hate they are doing a job which they absolutely hate have you seen people why what to do you know you have to do you know there's no way out right that's what they say is all bunch of excuses which people give so when somebody does not have any goal in this life then the opposite sex consumes a lot of our consciousness and that is why you will see that big big people they run into scandal because of the opposite sex because that time they get distracted so one of my gurus used to say distraction means alternative attraction should i repeat distraction means alternative attraction so when you are getting distracted by somebody it simply means that you do not have sufficient focus in life you do not know what to do in life 
you are not doing things because you want to do but because you have to or somebody told you right you must do it that is why you are doing it can be anything you could be an it engineer you could be a doctor you could be a lawyer a politician anybody but you are doing it because nobody knows why <laughs> but that's not something what you should be doing so just sit down for a second and ask yourself this question is that something which i should be doing what i'm what i'm doing now in my career or overall in my life if you get an answer no then you are at the wrong place so then these things will manifest externally how oh you know i want the number <laughs> his or her phone number then i will message even if that person doesn't reply i will again message 10 times i will message 20 times i will message yes have you seen people doing it <laughs> maybe you have done it with somebody or maybe somebody is doing that with you now so the answer is very simple once till the time you do not treat these two problems this external problem which you think is a problem will not be solved so at a spiritual level you have to cultivate your relationship with god and at a material level you have to do things which give you fulfillment in life and if you have not found out what gives you fulfillment then that's a problem then you need to find somebody who can tell you that and also try yourself how you do that you have to increase the mode of goodness sattva guna inside you so when you in increase sattva guna inside you then you will be able to see things more clearly then you will exactly know what you should be doing in life and honestly speaking then you do not need to go to any life coach any astrologer for that it is not required because if you do not know what you should be doing in life no astrologer can tell you no life coach can tell you impossible try it it is highly impossible that somebody can tell you because somehow it is not possible because that is your journey nobody can tell you which path you should walk that is your desire that's your free will that's your path you have to decide that and if you do not know what that is then you have to be more clear with yourself and for that you have to discard all the things that take you away from your best version what are some of the things that takes you away from your best version for example gossip gossiping with others who is having an affair with whom yes gossiping about the physical features the private parts of the opposite sex gossiping about which film star is getting married to which cricketer today they are getting married tomorrow they will get divorced yes any doubts <laughs> which country is having a war with whom who is going to win the elections in india in 2019 my mailbox is flooded with questions can you predict who is going to win the elections in india and i'm like just wait you will get the results after two months <laughs> but no you want the predictions right you want some masala in life because your life is filthy boring and disgusting <laughs> so if that is somebody or if that sounds like somebody then that's a very big red signal and then what are other things that drag you down from your best version number one thing 
losing semen unnecessarily, watching pornography, masturbating, talking about the opposite sex with members of the same sex, <laughs> two men meeting together and discussing how that lady is looking, yes. Epic disaster. <laughs> Classic disaster this is. Then, what else? Prostitution. Multiple relationships. Sex outside of marriage, before marriage. Ruined lives. Eating meat. The other day somebody was asking me, Oh sir, can you please tell me eating egg is veg or non-veg? See, the important is not what is veg, non-veg, good, bad, right, wrong, what you can do, what you can't do. That's not important. The question is, should you do it? The egg contains life by which another chicken or whatever you call it is born. Chicken, duck or whatever it is. Some living being is born. So, does it require somebody from exotic astrology to tell you? Is it good or bad? You know, you are killing somebody. You are taking somebody's life. So, do you need exotic astrology to tell you that is right, wrong, good, bad? <laughs> Again, I am saying, the question is not it is if it is right or if it is wrong. The question is, should it be done or should it not? Yes. What are some of the other activities which degrade us? Eating anything, anywhere, anytime. Eating foods in Rajoguna, like meat. Smoking, drinking. Yes. <sighs> I don't have that, you know. I only have this Belan. <laughs> I was just making some rotis. <laughs> Cocoa. Too much. Caffeine. Coffee. Too much. Watching debate shows in TV. Television. Yes. Night. 10 o'clock. Just before you go to sleep. You're watching those. Watching things like Game of Thrones. Big Boss. Yes. Going in the La La Land. Discussing about how somebody got that promotion. These are some of the activities which degrade us, which pull us down. So when we do all this, the symptom manifests externally that we are running behind the opposite sex. That is what happens. So what is the cure? The cure is that we have to distance ourselves from all these rubbish activities. It may take time. One day, two day, three day, four day, five days. Or maybe one year. Or maybe two years. Or three years. But it will happen one day. Put yourself in the company of spiritually elevated people. They will tell you what higher reality is. They will enlighten you. Tamasoma, Jyotirgamaya, Mrityurma, Sadgamaya. Every day, morning and evening, before you go to your office, before you go to your school, before you go to your business, just read one page from the Bhagavad Gita or from the Srimad Bhagavatam. Chant some mantras in the morning. Read the Brahma Samhita. Chant the shlokas from the Brahma Samhita. There you will find the description of the spiritual world. Venum Kwananta Maravinda Dalaya Takcham Barhavatam Samasitam Buddha Sundarangam Govinda Madi Purusham Tamahamba Jami Yasya Sada Sakalendri Avriti Manti. You can go on and on singing like this. Hundred and eight times chant Vishnu mantras. Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo 
भगवते श्री वामनाय ओम नमो भगवते नरसिंहाय दीज आर मंत्रास विच यू कैन चैट यू कैन रीड दि विष्णु शास्त्र नाम शुक्लम वरधरम विष्णु शशिवर्णम चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वर यू कैन रीड दि श्रीमद भागवतम देर यू विल सी स्टोरी of great personalities like bhishma pitama like dhruva maharaj like yudhishthir maharaj you will find these great personalities in the shrimad bhagavatam when you read then you will realize how to be in life read about the 12 mahajan swayam bhuna rada shambhu kumaro kapilo manu prahlado janako bhishmo balirvaya sakhi vayam Yamraj tells this to the Yamdut that these twelve great personalities, himself included, of course, <laughs> they know what religion is. They know what spirituality is. So when we know the stories of these great personalities, only then we will know how to be in life. Otherwise, we will. remain with our filthy boring disgusting lifestyle and then <laughs> keep running 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 when you were 15 you were running behind the opposite sex when you were 20 you were running when you were 25 i know many of my friends still running behind the opposite sex there was one of my friend what he did was <laughs> he told me that uh i have a horoscope of a girl can you just see that horoscope i said why then he told me that can you just tell me some uh, s- s- some some amazing things about that girl amazing in the sense like what is her favorite color what is her favorite food something like this you know something which is very which catches the eye something very sharp very precise oh you love red you love green you love yellow i said what will you do by knowing he said actually you know i am planning to impress her actually i will tell her that i know how to read horoscopes and i will tell her oh you know your horoscope tells me you like red color and i am like come on <laughs> and this is one of the most headless persons i know in this world he was headless when he was 10 years he was headless when he was 15 and now i don't know how much is his age <laughs> he's still headless and if he stays like this he will be headless for the next life for this lifetime at least so the conclusion is very simple find a purpose in life be clear stay away from this rubbish garbage do not associate with people who talk nonsense who talk about politics associate with people who talk about spirituality or if there's nobody in your office then you start talking one or two you will find <laughs> so one of the most commonly asked queries to me that oh you say talk about spirituality with somebody but there's nobody in my office if there is no spiritual association create one association there do not give excuses nobody will fall from the sky oh come on let's talk on some spiritual topic right you will not find like that i have not found at least till now so don't expect that you will find people talking about spirituality in this kali yuga it's not possible so if they are not talking you must talk then one or two will come to listen hopefully <laughs> it will not happen in one day it will take some time within 3 months 6 months 10 months 20 months 30 months one day it will happen don't worry <laughs> so read the scriptures then you will know chant mantras chant uh, sing the bhajans which i was just you know sing read shlokas one shloka every day cut 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 like missile ईश्वर परम कृष्ण सच्चिदानंद विग्रह अनादिरादिर गोविंद सर्व कारण कारण दिस इज फ्रॉम दी ब्रह्म संहिता अगेन लॉर्ड ब्रह्म इज टेलिंग ऑल राइट दैट इज ऑल आई वुड से सो व्हेन यू डू दीज टू थिंग्स स्पिरिचुअली कल्टीवेट योर सेल्फ 
and materially find a purpose in life what you want to do in life be clear with that be focused then you will realize that you are not running behind the opposite sex anymore that will automatically happen and if you do not do these two and if you artificially try you know oh, maybe i will not do this not do that it doesn't work like that and if you are so badly plagued with this habit then one of my gurus once suggested that delete all the numbers suppose you are a boy and you always run behind women delete all contact numbers of ladies from your mobile except your mother and your sister or maybe your cousins uda do sabka out if you are seeing their mobile numbers you will message them all right so delete their numbers it is for your good if you are so badly plagued by this habit but just by removing their numbers that that's not going to solve any problem remove their numbers and then you do all these spiritual practices then you find a purpose in life find your goal in life be anchored to that and then gradually maybe you can save numbers of <laughs> one or two of them that's fine all right i hope this clears off and i don't know if it pinched <laughs> some of you but anyways that's my duty to say whatever it is all right so there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe oh yes and if you want a consultation then please go down to my website okay until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye